press on. We got gang activity. I'm not sure what city I'm in exactly, but I think it's porn. So, I'm at Scenic Loop Road in I-10. Like, um, this positioning that I'm gonna have. Oh, there's another gang member coming right here, too. Wow, we got two stops. But that guy just pulled into, um, into there. Interesting. I think um, I'll get on the other side of this. Hole here. So we got Kendall County Sheriff 1309. So it looks like there's... Oh, I'm just documenting what my public servants are doing, man. Like hell I do, am I detained? The fuck I am. I have a right to film. Tell me I'm interfering. This is a free country, man. I can walk by. This road isn't closed. I'm not in between you and your duties. I wasn't... Uh, 3815 Texas Penal Code, you want to talk... Excuse me. Sir, let me talk for a second. You can certainly film. Yeah, I can film. My safety, you're not going to stand. I'm not. I'm not a threat to you. Talk. I don't know you. You don't know me. You, you don't know. need to know me. I have a. I have a right to be innocent until proven guilty. Do you have any reasonable, articulable suspicion? Sir, are you not with this no, I'm not. I. I'm going to keep walking and go right over here, and then I'm going to go anywhere I goddamn well fucking please, and I'm going to throw a motherfucking protest. Have you ever seen a protest? This is my fucking property. Okay, I have a right to film, I have a right to protest, I have a right to express extreme displeasure with the Kendall County Sheriffs who think that this is a tyranny. Sir, whatever, okay, just because you're on a traffic stop doesn't mean that you have a bubble around you and up. nobody can walk by, nobody can watch, nobody can document what their public servants are doing. You know, you're what is your freaking problem? Yeah, what's your name? My name's Deputy Voxel with the Kendall County Sheriff's Office. Great. Do you know I interfering see. requires an action, an actual impedement to be I placed see. in your way? Sorry. I know the law Sorry. a little better than you, buddy, okay. because you know see. what? I made it to this ripe Sir, old age without gonna, being charged with interference. So uh, do I have to? Do I'm the people, are the people supposed to, to supposed to, um, yeah, well, maybe this guy has a little bit more it. common sense, all right? Because just because he pulls somebody over doesn't mean that the people need to give a fuck, okay? I have a right to document what you guys are doing, and Healy, Hefley, whatever the hell it is, and uh, I don't like this freaking tyrant's attitude from the get-go. Look at this string bean little puny hey, look, pig ass right now you're interfering with the bullshit 3815 okay, requires an actual impediment either you walk away or go to jail walk away walk away right am now I, am i detained jail. i'm telling you to walk away or you're gonna go to jail whoa am you i detained i off. told you in the first place you could you could film me as long as you stepped away from me for my safety you decided you didn't want to do that so now you're gonna go i to did i moved no you didn't you decided to Take scream off. and cuss at me during my traffic that's time. my right hey look Talk, don't talk to him. Take off. Now I can't him. talk? Go. Now I wasn't going this way. All right, well, you're going that way now. No, I'm not. I'm going okay, back well, that way. Either go that way or go that way. What? If you say one more word or come up next to this traffic stop, you're going to go to jail for interference. So I don't have a right to speech? Look, man, you're testing my patience, okay? I'm telling you either take off or you're going to go to jail. Whoa, man. Let him keep walking. 
Police, police. thank you. Born police. All I'm doing is let me talk to the police officer. No, let me tell you something. He's stopping me. I was doing what you said. Oh, my. First sick feeling. So it is 6:46, and uh, it was 3:45 when I left the uh, concentration camp. But they insisted on taking me to the uh, uh, homeless shelter in San Antonio which I was curious about, and then, so we were sitting in traffic until, uh, quarter to six, and from a quarter to six until six, um, I mean, wait, yeah, until six, I, uh, I just started raising holy hell with my First Amendment, demanding that he pull over and, uh, let me out, and, um, uh, and he didn't appreciate it very much, and he got on his phone to his supervisor, and that's exactly what he did. And, uh, so, they, um, I never agreed to anything, um, I never agreed to any bond or anything, but the uh, judge just, um, well, first of all, I haven't eaten in two days, because I didn't eat any food while I was there, so I was there from, uh, shortly after midnight, like probably closer to 1 a.m. on Thursday morning, and um, they, uh, I refused to answer any questions, so they just stripped me naked, put me in a, a closing cell, and then uh, they uh, gave me a, um, I forget what they call it, it's just like a wrap kind of thing. Um, But they wanted me to ask, answer all kinds of questions, which I refused to do. And um, so they were threatening me. They said I would be in there for 100 days if I didn't answer, and I'd never see the judge, you know. And um, so they kept coming in like every 30 minutes, just banging on the door and screaming and yelling uh, about me uh, answering the questions and yada yada. And then it, shortly after I was in there, they brought me a blanket, but then they took that away because uh, I wouldn't answer the questions. There was no toilet paper, so it was a good thing I wasn't eating um, or drinking water. And uh, there was no way I was going to be in there 100 days, that's for sure. Uh, and um, so then today, um, they gave up on their nonsense about asking the question, answering the questions, but they uh, wanted to know if I wanted to go see the judge. And I was like, I don't I'm not going to resist you, but, uh, you know, um, and so they're like, well, get up, and I was like, well, I'm not going to resist you, but I'm not going to assist you, so they're like, do you want to see the judge or not, and like, I, you know, I don't have an opinion on it, right, and uh, so they brought the judge to me in my, in my uh, concentration uh, camp, and um, the judge said he was going to set the bail at 2000 and um, I was like, well, what about a probable cause, you know, because there was no probable cause. And um, he's like, oh, I've decided that uh, there's probable cause, you know. And um, so I, I got in some words edgewise about uh, Bill versus Houston. And, um, you know, because it's for interference. So it's not really about uh, disorderly conduct or what my speech was, per se, like Cohen versus California. But, Bill versus Houston is a, is a good case on that, and um, he uh, decided to, uh, then he's like, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you a PR bond, and I was like, well, I'm not agreeing to any bond, and um, he's like, so you just want to stay in here, and I was like, oh, you know, no, I, I think you should uh, dismiss the charges and uh, let me go, you know, I told him I was one of the people, and, and you know, yada yada, and he's like, well, we're all people, and I'm like, no, you're serving other people. And, uh, you know, we didn't get into that too heavy, but nevertheless, he, um, he stormed out, and then he set the, uh, the, um, PR bond, and, but, uh, and so they literally forced me out the door. I never signed anything or agreed to anything, 
Um, they stole my money, didn't give me any property receipts at all. They stole $36, all my cigarettes, all my papers. Um, but they didn't um, manage to uh, deprive me of Starbucks. Yeah, I got... Press on.